Generic greetings and welcome back once again to another chill session on Power Wash Simulator. Today's beverage is a nice and refreshing and indeed chilled no added sugar summer fruits squash. Very nice indeed. So welcome back to the game in the previous episode. We were finishing off the gnome fountain which was, yeah it was quite a task indeed but we managed to get there in the end and we now have the mini golf course. So let's not waste any more time. Prime Vista 3000 all extensions, three stone cleaner, three multi-purpose cleaner, a three wood cleaner. We have the turbo nozzle and the sprayer. Let's start this job and see what the deal is with it. Now I have no idea as to the size of the uh, uh, the location, I don't know what sort of things we have to clean other than, well, stone wood and whatnot, but let's have a quick look around. So we have started once again in this like parky area, and we have some nice flags on here, and we can head into, yes, that is the, uh, the miniature golf course there, we can see it uh, says... Uh, castle mini put fair enough so we'll head inside it says it is closed yes and go this way so let's oh, you see yeah, some golf clubs there we've got a little green here and it goes around these two uh, is that like a medieval character type thing yeah and then it goes on to the second hall which is you've got the windmill there and a couple of little huts up to the top where we've got oh it looks to be like a lizard or a dragon maybe yeah and um, pirate treasure there we've got some sort of uh, graffiti on the back which is a norm and other such things oh good grief this is actually quite a large quite a large mission all right and then there's another one here with a is that a is that cobra i think it might be into the sort of archery area once again it's all set, set in this castle thing then you've got Oh, that would be difficult. So you have to make it so it goes up there and around there and then into that one. Fair enough. We've got some stairs. You've got <laughs> good grief an area that goes up the top here. What's that there? Is that like a... Oh, it's, oh, it's just like a wooden wooden bit. And then right to the top where we actually have the castle. So, yeah. Oh, and there's the, there's the gnome there who we can uh, if we can pick up and <laughs> and uh, shift if need be. And um, how, do we, how do we drop the gnome? Just press F? Um, okay. Is it... Is it it just says place object. I mean, I can't place it there. Is it? Is it permanently? Oh, this is bad. Oh, you just left click. Okay, fair enough. Let's just uh, uh, dump it out the way. Oh, at least we can come down this way on the way out. So it's actually well designed in terms of how you would uh, go around it. Anyway, let's go ahead and switch over to our long extension. We're going to go with the 25 degree nozzle. And let's get some cleaning on here. So I'm going to probably just... I mean, we could work from the top down and get some overspray and things like that, but let's be honest, I think the fun is going to be in going to each of the each of the halls and each of the courses and working working from like one to nine or however many there was here. It feels like it was more than nine nine halls on this course, but we'll we'll see. So just cleaning the uh, front entrance arch. Uh, also, the pillars are their own separate piece as well, so I do have to. Maybe clean up and around here, so just jumping up there, and then we could clean on this side as well. So, I don't have any anticipation of to uh, has how long it's going to be, how many how many goes this will take, but the fun's obviously in finding out. Let's just see uh, what we can do in this one session, and then obviously we'll go from there as well. So underneath the arch, I think there's just a a bit up the top there that I'm going to have to maybe get some height for and yeah it seems to be the case and job done right we'll clean this entrance area here um, I think this is it says entrance floor yeah so we'll go ahead and clean this once again running the 25 degree green nozzle it's not something I normally run with normally we run it with the uh, the yellow 15 degree as is preference but looks like we'll stick with this one for now. This is a staff only area by the look of it. And we can clean around the door. No particular uh, reason for cleaning that door other than it's there, so we can. There's the door frame. And then the door, which apparently is clean, but is it. Oh! Oh, that handle there. Okay. <laughs> right, fair enough. Um. And it seems rude not to clean the sort of front kiosk here. So, I tell you, I'm going to switch back over to the 15 degree and see how I get on with it. And see if I want to run... Oh yeah, that, that seems a bit better for this job here. And... Cutting around the edge, just rotating when need be. 
right this way to the start. And at the top, this kiosk shutter is yeah, it's different for that. I wonder if we need to go underneath here and around. There we go. And once again, we're going to go up to the top. That's yeah, they're very filthy. <laughs> and we'll clean the kiosk. Looks like this roof here is classed as the same as the sides. It's just a bit down to the sides that I haven't got. I would imagine. Just a couple of bits in the back there that I haven't managed to get. Mm, or maybe it's... Yeah. Around there. So that's good. Alright. Going to go back over to the 25 degree. And this is just the flooring here. Doesn't seem to have any horrible ingrained dirt. Looks like a big footprint there. Or an iron. <laughs> and then we'll get all of this done up to the first course to be cleaned. Which I noticed that there's tufts of grass there that are also... Um, there's tufts of grass that are none of it's dirty around there. So this is the front wall, which is only dirty on this side. Okay, fair enough. Just going to go underneath. Yep, that's fine. Start cleaning these rocks as well. Are these all classed as the same rocks? Yes, these are all classed as entrance rocks. So we'll just spray around here. We've got the buckets, a bucket there, which I'm guessing where the, a lot of the golf balls will be. Yeah, it's all classed as entrance rocks. Like that. And I think the other's just classed as the keep. Might as well get the bucket there. Oh, does that go down? Yeah, that's the pipe that will bring the, um, the balls back from the castle. Oh! Interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's called uh, golf ball golf ball return floor. That bit. Fair enough. Spraying in the bucket. In and around here. There's that done. Still need to get these uh, rocks done. Oh, there's a one in under there as well. And oh, is it like a huge chunk that I've not got from this side? That's exactly what it is and what it was. So, golf clubs are not in need of a clean. Golf ball return bucket is in need of a clean. But I can't see where the dirt is. I'll go for a different angle, maybe. Hmm. It's one of those things where I'm just going to have to keep jumping around. <laughs> And maybe under here. Okay, that's not greatly designed. Uh, that there was a, apparently that little uh, return support there, <laughs> and that was by the look of it cleaned as well as part of the process. So we've got fence panels here. We'll go ahead and do this. So this, as opposed to the one we've just done, is. I don't know, I can't really compare in terms of the size of the the map, but it's probably going to have the same amount of episodes in terms of cleaning on it, if not more. And that could be because of how intricate it is. But that also should hopefully mean that we've got lots of variety here. I'm hoping that that variety will shine through and uh, make it a bit more interesting. Uh, there's another fence panel that we haven't cleaned here. Yeah, it's from that side and that side that side. Just keep spraying and I think that's the majority of that done. Okay, I'm going to start cleaning this mushroom house on the first course. Is there a name for it? No, it's just number one. Um, realistically, Past 17, right? <laughs> no. Uh, hit, would it bounce off? I mean, hit there. I mean, I don't think you could get it in one, but, you know, there'll be some 
someone that's looked out, I'm guessing. But let's just get this mushroom house. There we go. Um, don't like that we have to get sort of push right in the back corner here. I'm not a big fan of that. Also, I seem to be hitting some random bit where I couldn't go any further. Um, spray under there, a bit more dirt there. Yeah, it's quite a cramped map, this. There's that clean. Go ahead and we'll get this, uh, this fence done. Got some butterflies there, quite nice. They're quite nice indeed. The fence panel done. Got the forest wall, it says. Which I think is quite, yeah, the same, same, same thing on that side as well. So I'm not going to fuss too much over that. So we'll end up cleaning that. We'll just clean this little fence panel. And there we go. Well, it's got the butterflies to do. Top of that. Fence post. And there's that fence post as well. I will go to this side. Just to get that fence post done. There we go. And then we're going to come back to this. So, um, <clears throat> night. It's the forest night. So, spraying around here. Because we'll get a lot of overspray on it. So that's always handy. I can already tell that this is going to be a bit of an issue to clean. Because of the sheer amount of stuff I'm bumping into. There's so much stuff I'm bumping into. It's making it... Uh, apparently there's a fence post over there that I just cleaned, that I didn't clean previously. Uh, yeah, there's so much stuff I'm bumping into making it difficult to clean everything, but... It is what it is. Just going underneath here. Different angle. There's that cleaned. Go around the tree stump here. That the knight is perched on. Let's see if we can get underneath here as well. Get those mushrooms. There's that done. Uh, under here for that mushroom. There we go. Uh, we'll get the get the first whole flag. Except the hole also was in need of cleaning. So that's good. Is that? Yeah, that's definitely cleaned. Don't want dirty holes. So we'll work around here, around this side. And. Did I do both the. No, I was going to say. I remember doing one of the butterflies. I'll get in the, the ting noise to say the butterfly's being clean. Not both of them. Usually decent memory for me there. I'm sure it won't last. So once again, just using the 25 degree spray here. This is the Prime Vista 3000. This is the second top in terms of power for pressure washers. The other one being the Prime Vista Pro. That's the top dog around here. There's the edging there for the first hole, what was it called? First hole border. Yep. Then we've got this uh, flooring. And I think that's done. I think that's about done. Right, we're on 10% we're on cleaned. Okay. Fair enough. Um, but, yeah, we're only 10% we're only of the way there for cleaning this. But because of the level of detail in this map, because of that, it doesn't doesn't feel like a drag. It's not just like work, which is good. And obviously, we're gonna encounter new new location shortly. Let's get that clean. These are called forest shrubs. Insert overused Monty Python references here. And get that side, get that side, yeah, that's done. So, as we've done many times before in the game, attack it from one side, attack it from the other, and you often get the results that you desire.
Um, we've got the fence. I'm not going to do that. I think what we'll do is get these little uh, houses done. I'm stuck on something. Oh, it's the marker. Right, hang on, man. See if I can get this. I'm just going to get that cleaned. Right. Now we'll do these houses. The reason being, lots of overspray. Attack it from multiple angles. There we go. Go this side now. I have a feeling that other house is going to be a bit annoying to do. Because I'm crouched down. Underneath it there will be some maybe on here. Yep, there's literally dirt inside that thing. Oh, hang on. It's very cramped. Well, that was a pain. So that's clean, that's clean. Right, let's go for the flag. And also the hole. Yep, it's clean. And that as well. And while I'm here, let's get the windmill. So it's class as multi purpose. And wood. Some of it here. Um, I think I'm going to get the blades while I'm on. I was going to say they look extremely sharp, but is that because of the swords? <laughs> hmm. Maybe I know why this is no longer <laughs> a, a functioning place when they have highly sharp metallic swords. At eye level. Hmm. Uh, are these blades separate? I think they are. And they're also, I think, a little bit rusty. So we may have to come back with some cleaner on this one. Let's switch over to the 15 degree. See how we get with that. That's infinitely better. <clears throat> yep, that's much better. Much prefer that, so we're going to stick with that for now. Um, just going to clean the rest of the windmill, really. Different angles here. To get underneath there. I can see on the... the cross, is it the cross guard of the sword? Oh, yeah, that's why that's not clean. <laughs> some dirt there as well. Underneath here. So this is where it's going to be a bit of a problem because how close we are to the wall. We can't get any further. I can't actually stand up. I'm going to switch to the short extension. I thought the roof would have been done by now. So second hole windmill is just about done. Whoa! Managed to had to put myself there. Full send. Oh, don't say in there is dirty as well. Um, I'm going to go back to the long extension. Just getting all them bits done. Again, trying to work at different angles. Yeah, so each individual sword is its one separate item for purposes of cleaning. So what I'll do is I'll just keep working at it. This one needs doing. I have a feeling it's under here. I'm pressing tab. I'm not seeing any any alerts. It's going to be up the top, maybe. Yeah, there's some there, and there, yeah, that's what I expected to get, so that's an angle we haven't, we haven't attacked, okay, good, we'll go back to the 25 degree nozzle, I think, and start cleaning the fence, getting inside there is a bit difficult, uh, this is a, another challenge map, I should point out. Didn't say at the beginning, but it's a challenge map. 
part of the community maps as well, which I think they take a vote. Or the, there was a vote taken on which ones to develop. So, yeah. I found that these are... Uh, they're not bad. But I don't think they're as polished as perhaps some of the campaign maps. So... There you are. Obviously just personal opinion. Might be some maps that you really like in this one mode. And ones that you absolutely despise. <laughs> well, there's certainly plenty of them. So I'm just trying to get this border done. There we go. Get these rocks done while we're on. They're easily done as well. On this side. Stepping stones. And this border is actually separate for some reason. Because it can be, I guess. Getting in here is going to be a bit difficult. While I'm here, I'll spray the rocks. It actually looks like we've got that one done anyway, so that's good. Right, let's uh, work on the border rocks as we... Head up to hole number three. So, this is forest rocks, it says. Getting stuck on absolutely everything, and I'm also jumping up and down where all these blades are. <laughs> and they do, stay, they do stay metal as well, so it's not like a polystyrene blade or sort of like rubber ones or something. So it is just genuinely a really dangerous blade <laughs> that's sticking out from there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, um, is that a banana? No, <laughs> it's a it's a bone of some kind. There you go. Bit of texture work and I guess it could be a banana. Um, one thing that obviously is glaring uh, that I haven't done this, I haven't done the main castle. Um, I think it's probably best to leave it, this castle keep rock, and keep working on this other stuff. Ooh, there's another sword. Stuck in, stuck in a stone as well. Alright, okay. So we've got Excalibur going on, is that right? Did Excalibur get a pull from a stone? Or didn't it get yeeted into a lake? Or maybe both. Let's just work on... Ah, it's sword and stone. It's the same... It's actually the same thing. Right, okay. It's classed as the same item. Fair enough. Let's, um... Let's clean these rocks around. These are classed as cave wall. By all accounts. I'm sure there's bits that I'm missing, but... We can work around here. And obviously, there's no bonuses uh, bonuses for um, time or water usage or anything like that. It's not a challenge map, so it's a special map, not a challenge map. Is that right? Anyway, it's getting cleaned. Whatever it is, just need to find where the rest of the dirt is. That is Cave Dragon. Definitely says Cave Dragon. And there's that done as well. Right, let's get this uh, stuff sprayed around here. Get these bananas done. <laughs> and it also says Cave Floor as well. Oh, those coins. Oh, yeah, the coins. Now, actually, rusty as well, I think. Okay, I'll come back to that with a slightly slightly more powerful pressure with a different nozzle is all that done rib bone it says there I bet it's in here that's it it's fine just gonna swap out to 15 degree 
and get these coins all cleaned. And then we've got this uh, treasure chest as well, which as far as I can tell is very rusty. But we can clean it like, like so. A bit difficult to see the rust on it actually. Is it difficult? There we go. Well, lots of rust back here as well. Gonna have to switch to the short extension. That should get us on here as well. Yeah, that's good. Work on this side. Eventually, it's just gonna. Yep, yeah, it's just gonna say, "Yep, yeah, you're good." Continue. <laughs> I mean, I'm tempted to use the cleaner on this. This is prime cleaner territory, really. But then again, with a bit of time spent, we should get it done anyway. Yep, there it is, done. Okay, back to the long extension, 25 degree nozzle. Let's work our way around. And we've got the cave. This is actually a couple of courses, so we're only going to clean up to this flag here. A couple of rocks here. Stepping stones. Seem a bit pointless, actually, but there you are. That's the dragon's tail there, is it? Yeah, it is. Just clean that side under there and let's clean the dragon I'm gonna start spring front here work our way around to there I'm noticing there's not a lot of dirt on it like really ingrained stuff I mean what I am noticing is that it reminds me of the Stego slide from one of the very first episodes where we had to clean a slide that was a Stegosaurus and because it's not a hard edge model it's you know a, I could say a living being but it's it's not <laughs> it's a, it's probably made of uh, probably made of fiberglass but it says multi-purpose but yeah, because it's not a, like a hard edge, like a spaceship or anything, it's more organic. It's a nightmare to clean. So, it ain't going to clean itself. Let's just crack on and see what we can get done. To the back here. Around there. And... Probably not going to like this, but... Oh, there we go. Loads of dirt in there, because it curves round, you see. Oh, I can already tell this is going to be a... I can already tell this is a pain. <laughs> I can already tell. It's in the... Sh it's in For a start, it's in the shade, so I can hardly see... Um... The bits that we've just missed, you have to press tab. I'm only trying to get the top there, sometimes the game's just not doing it, it's not hitting it. Um, I think there's graffiti on this. Oh, yeah, there's graffiti on it. It actually comes off rel relatively easy. But yeah, we're going to be coming back to this, aren't we? A lot of the time. Alright. Let's just do what we can. Get the main muck off. All of this dirt here. I'm hoping that the designers have been very lenient with this thing. And you get the majority of it cleaned and done. And I'll go, yeah, yeah, done, yeah. Ting, <laughs> move on. Um, let's see if that's the case or not. Obviously there's graffiti here, so if we spray this off, that'll bring us very close to clean, I would imagine. 
Watch behind the ears. Don't forget about that. Bits on there. Bits over here. In there, in the claws. On the back leg. I'm guessing... I'll come down here and press tab. Yeah, there's some bits under there that we didn't get. It's all classed as cave wallless as well. And some on the front there. Mm. Oh, is it going to be in this corner here? Yeah, there's a... Oh no, well, there's not much there. So I'm not too sure where. Not too sure where we're meant to clean on that one. Oh, there's some dirt up there as well. I'm going to see if I can jump on top of this. Yeah, yeah, there's some in, in between the... the talons there. And by cleaning from here, we can get a bit of it. Also part of the wall as well. But it's almost certainly going to be back over. Let's put one from this side as well. Wasn't supposed to be doing the wall, but it's happening. <laughs> There's the norm. Oh, is it like a like a cave person norm? It looks to be, yeah, I think so. That's what it's supposed to be. So what's this? It's like how they fought the monster. Let's see if we can clean these cave paintings up a little bit. Ah, oh, and there's a there's a gnome with a, a bone arrow. <laughs> so is that how they defeated it? It's possible. Let's see if I can clean all this. Need be. But back to this, because this is where we were supposed to be cleaning. Um, I'm cleaning the floor around it just because I'll be spraying around anywhere and I'll be getting bits of this as we do that. Hey, there it is. It's done. Okay, so it wasn't as bad as I thought. This is all classed as cave wall, even though it's the floor. That's a curious decision. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that wasn't as bad as I thought. So that, it could have just been, I was remembering the, uh, remembering the other map more harshly than perhaps it, it was, or whether because we've played so much of this thing, our cleaning methods and timings, techniques, etc. have improved, or this is just better design, I don't know. Still not as easy to clean as a skate park. Um, okay, so this is multi-purpose. I'm going to switch over to the 15 degree just to get this cleaned up. Oh, there's also a bit in there as well. And we can see we're getting all this cave art, actually. I actually don't mind. I think it actually makes it better with that art on it. As opposed to these flat surfaces, but hey-ho. Uh, I mean, yeah, I am running long extension. I thought I was. Just double checking to make sure I wasn't running the short extension still. So we're going to get the cave wall. And there it is. Okay, so. We have managed to clean 29% of this thing. Uh, obviously, glaring thing is in the middle that we haven't done, but. Uh, holes 1, 2. Hmm. And, uh. <laughs> 3's to do. Yeah. Holes 1, 2, and most of hole 3 is now clean. Next episode, more cleaning. Would be nice to get to at least 50%, but obviously we'll see how we get on. Lots to clean, lots to adventure. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed this bit of a chill session on Power Wash Simulator. Thanks very much for watching. Comments in the comments. Take care, and generic partings.